In this video, we're going to determine what makes a molecule polar or nonpolar. Polar molecules have a partially positive end and a partially negative end, and those partially positive and negative ends are called dipoles. So if you look at um, this molecule of water, it has oxygen, which has lone electrons, so that's considered the partly negative end, so those negative ends are called dipoles and then down here hydrogen does not have lone pairs of electrons and doesn't have a very good hold on electrons at all so it has a partly positive end so water is a polar molecule nonpolar molecules do not have that partly positive end and partly negative end if you look at this molecule of oxygen they're equal on both sides so there's equal numbers of negative electrons on one side and equal numbers on the other molecule or atom too. So this would be a nonpolar molecule. So how to be polar? You have to have unequal sharing of electrons in the molecule. So you have to have what are called polar covalent bonds. And then you also have to have an asymmetrical shape. So it can't be the same on both sides or be able to almost fold, so to speak. So if we look at this molecule right here of hydrogen chloride, chlorine has seven electrons. So if you remember from ionic bonding, that means it wants more. And hydrogen only has one. So chlorine takes, hogs the electron that it's sharing with hydrogen um, to have a, the negative dipole. And then hydrogen has a positive dipole. So this molecule is partly negative and partly positive, so unequal sharing of electrons, and also it's asymmetrical. You can't fold this molecule in half. Our first example we're going to look at is ammonia. So if you look, ammonia has three hydrogens bonded to a nitrogen, and then a lone pair of electrons up here. So that causes ammonia to have an irregular shape and an unequal sharing of electrons. So that makes ammonia polar. Methane, on the other hand, has exactly the same atom bonded to every single um, spot on the carbon. So this makes methane nonpolar. And finally, our last one. Um, is nitrogen. So nitrogen, there's two nitrogen atoms bonded together with a triple bond, and each one has a lone pair, or lone pair of electrons, um, but it's even on both sides. You can fold this molecule in half, and it also has the, uh, the even sharing of electrons, so this one also is nonpolar. So the best way to figure out if a molecule is nonpolar or polar is to either build um, the model of the molecule and take a look at it, or draw the Lewis structure for the molecule and see where the electrons are arranged. And that will help you figure out if the molecule is polar or nonpolar.